You're watching Taste the Victory. Hey guys, welcome back. We got Ultimate Cup content for you today with Miko Cards, who got 30th at last week's German Ultimate Cup with D Reaper, one of the decks that was predicted by many to be good in this format because of the color restrictions. So it's exciting to see it doing well. Miko, you want to go ahead and show us the deck and let us know the matchups you faced at this Ultimate Cup? Yeah, of course. So, I mean, let me just start right up by showing you how many searches I played. I decided on playing 20. I mean, most of most of the time, a lot of people vary between, let's say, 19 to 21. I, for myself, have found that 20 was always like the golden ratio. I never had too many in my hand, and I never, I never had problems searching it. So I decided 20 would be just perfect. So, and for the three cost, I played four of bubbles. He's amazing on play. He puts one of your searches under your under D Reaper. Even in security, is really good as well because he always makes you be one turn ahead of your of your opponent. Then the next one, probably one of the best cards in the deck, is Four of Pendulum Feed. He's a searcher that searches one searcher and one D Reaper in trade, which can also be two searchers. And you oftentimes play for free or for one to choke your opponent and you always want to see this card even if you go second your best play is to play one of the searchers and then play pendulum feed so you have enough stuff for uh, your next turn then for the five costs i played two of the blocker i really was afraid of stuff like bloom lord mon or or all force mon or force Beedramon just because they're really fast as well. So I wanted to have something that can buy me some time because stuff like Old Force, they have a really, really big problem if you have one or even two gatekeepers out. Mm -hmm. So if I can reach that game state, I know I can secure the win. And this was one of the cards that would help me to get there. Then I had three Jerry, similar to Bubbles. She really makes you win even faster if you can get her out and protect her or get her to stick a long time you will always be one turn ahead every turn because you get to attach one from the d reverse effect and then get to attach another one of jerry's effect so if they don't out this you uh, you'll win pretty fast i also decided to play two of the rush how is his name actually it's a uh, horn, horn striker he's uh, he won me a couple of games because some people don't expect you to play a rush with, let's say, 14k by divided time for free and go for game. So he was he was pretty good. Uh, one card I wanted to try, but at the end I would definitely cut this one, was the Optimizer. The Optimizer on play reveals the top three and place one D repent trade with the cost of 10 or less. And I think it got an errata, so it does put the other two cards back on top of the deck. There was one time where this one revealed the Horn Striker, which was really, really good. So I had an extra attack that turn. And possibly you can also reveal like Bobbles, and if it's still your turn, Jerry would also be amazing. But Pendulum Feet and the Blocker are also good as well. But it did not come up that much like I wanted it to be. So I would definitely cut this one and maybe play the system one that draws you one if you trash one. Mm -hmm. That uh, So you get, get more pendulum feed bubbles or even more searches on your hand. And you can always discard one of the searches because if you have too many of them and the trash, they will also be amazing so you can attach them to your Reaper at the end. and. By far the best card of this deck is Gatekeeper. This card won me probably half of my matches and at the Ultimate Cup. It's really, really, really good. If this is in your hand, you will keep the hand most often because you want to play this out as soon as possible. There were a couple of times where I also played it, where my Mother D Reaper had only four sor uh, five sources underneath it because I was just hoping for bubbles to get hit in security because like decks like 
like I said, like all fours, they have really, really a really hard time outing this one. Mm -hmm. And I will talk about uh, the matchups later on more in depth, but having two of these out is always an insta win against all fours since they're uh, boss monster only out stuff with a level. Yeah. So you have a really good time if you have those uh, at least two of those, those out. Then of course uh, the Reaper. I decided to play three because I'm always that lucky to have two of them in security. So I did not want to lose because of that. And the idea was that if you play stuff like the Sister Mond, which I should have instead of the Optimizer, you could discard more Reapers to the trash, so you can immediately summon this when Model D Reaper hits seven searchers under it. And to help that, I tried it out. I probably would cut it as well. I played two Analog Youth, so I could reveal my top three cards, maybe add the Gatekeeper I wanted, or the Bubbles or Pendulum Feed, and I wouldn't mind if I had to trash two searchers, because that means my Reaper has one more attack when it's summoned. And the final three cards are 3x antibodies. Uh, it's amazing. It's the same concept as Jerry and Bubbles and makes you go one turn ahead. Yeah. And I really, really love this card. It's good in security always, uh, also. I had uh, like one or two times where this ended a turn of my opponent abruptly. But for things I would change, it would probably be the optimizer. Change this one for as a system or maybe and the analog view came in clutch like one time but i had because of the rule change i did not have enough time otherwise i would maybe try out the Bellucci tamer which is a memory setter a white one maybe that could have worked but uh, this would be a nice segue now to my to the matchups i i had two losses at the ultimate cup and one of them was a mirror match i I myself did not anticipate any Mother D Reaper matchup, so I decided on not playing the Palladi set, which was uh, a great mistake. I should have cut these ones, or at least two, mm -hmm. and play the Palladi set because if Gatekeeper is out, we both just draw cards and pass until one of us draws the Palladi set and outs the Gatekeeper and goes for game. He had it, he was smart enough to play it, I did not. And that caused me one of my losses at the Ultimate Cup. And the other one was against Bloomlord Morn. Bloomlord is amazingly consistent. And it's uh, it's really, really strong. Biggest problem is it's get it gets to rest your Gatekeeper. And so they can easily out it. And with Piercing, they can also take your security most of the time for three at once. And if you're not lucky enough to check another gatekeeper, you will probably lose the turn after. And those were my two losses, one Bloom Lord Mon and one Mirror Match, one D Reaper. I played against four Ulfors. The first one was pretty tough, but then I realized they don't they can't do anything with gatekeepers, so if I see that they play Ulfors, I just try to play fast, not to get the OTK, but just to get two gatekeepers out. There were two of my opponents who tried to deck out me then afterwards, because they could, oh, I couldn't fill the board, and their board state was, there. it would look like this right now, it would be our normal match, <laughs> and it would keep stunning all of my, all of my Digimon. Yeah. I had just my, the trick then, if they tried to deck you out, is to spam the board, like they can't stun all of them so you have at least three or four attacks and if you're sure enough that they can't block anymore with the arena that makes the the boss monsters all two blockers you can go for game the other ones just scooped immediately after they had two gate after they had two gatekeepers out mm -hmm. and that's the best case scenario my other matchup was blue flare blue flare at least the, the deck list my opponent played was pretty similar. I just had to put out two gatekeepers and he scooped immediately. I played against one green hybrid. That was a tough matchup because he also could uh, rest my 
and suspend my gatekeepers. But I was really lucky because he checked two gatekeepers out of my security and I got really fast to OTK with Reaper. So that was pretty much just luck. And also my final matchup was against Gallantmon, which was like uh, a good a good final match since Gallantmon is also on the artwork of Model D Reaper. So it was really close. I didn't feel like I was in control of that last matchup. I was lucky that Gatekeeper was in security. And the game, the match, no, the game I lost, game two, he got a went for game because he deleted my last security, which was a Gatekeeper. Otherwise, I would have won the match right there. And the last one, he got unlucky. He did a misplay. I don't remember quite what it was. But it's uh, I could use the the memory he gave me to play bubbles, which gave me the last reaper and, and the last searcher on the mother D reaper, mother D reaper I needed to play a gatekeeper, which he outed. But unfortunately for him, my last security, which he couldn't delete, was a gatekeeper, and he did not have enough place to out it. So then game the round afterwards, I had. Reaper with four attacks and he had three security up and I just played it and I was praying for a not hitting guy of course <laughs> because I knew he was playing four. Mm -hmm. I was shaking while he was checking security but it were like two Gilmons and a Growlmon and then I could attack for a game and yeah I had four all fours so it was one Galant, one green hybrid, one Bloom Lord. We had one blue flare and then one, two, three, four. All for us. So we played eight rounds at last week's Ultimate Cup here in Germany. Okay, awesome. Yeah, and it sounds like it's a very good matchup into all four. So it's really convenient, like really good. We got all those four matchups. Yes, for definitely. Sure. Awesome. That's very cool. Thank you so much for walking us through the matchups. It's very interesting to hear how D Reaper works in this format. So, did you feel good with just the two blockers? Because I know you were considering cutting Optimizer, like, would you up the blockers ever? If they didn't come up that often, mm, okay. uh, to be honest. I had one matchup where I really bricked, where I had two of them out, mm -hmm. and I was fine with that. I never really felt like I needed a third or even a fourth blocker. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. For coming here and talking, especially that last match with uh, Gallant, it sounded very stressful. Yeah, <laughs> that was cool. It really was. Yeah. We had uh, a two-minute break oh, okay. uh, between match two and three because uh, we both were shaking too much. <laughs> That's so intense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, so, is there anything you would like to add? Last-minute comments, and um, I know you have a YouTube channel. If you would like, you could go ahead and like describe that to the people. Go ahead and plug it. Yeah, I recently started a YouTube channel, especially for. Uh, Digimon and One Piece now. Nice. And uh, I started like with just some simpler pack openings before getting into more stuff like deck profiles or duels. So if anyone here is also interested in One Piece, they can go check it out. And yeah, I mean, Digimon is an amazing game. I still love it, even though a couple of people, a couple of people I know, mean that it would die out soon because One Piece gets all the hype. <laughs> but I, I, I still am in love with this game. I really, really love it. Yeah, I've been playing One Piece now, finally. I and mean, it's very fun, but I still love Digimon a lot, definitely. Yeah. It's a great, they can both exist. They're both Bandai. I'm sure they want them yeah. to both exist. Yeah. Awesome. Well, and you can check out that YouTube channel in the description below if you want some more content from Miko Cards. Again, thank you for coming on. Congratulations on your top 32 placement. Hope to see you thank again you. in the top tables again. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you very much. See you guys.